Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be going through Act 6.4, the first quest. Now, the purpose of these videos is not to showcase my skill or to show you the best champions to use. Throughout this series, I'm going to use Ghost. She handles so much. Uh, this is the path that I decided to choose uh, for my first initial clear of this quest. Biohazard, Nano Plague, and Tunnel Vision. All right, you can pause it, read up on those. Basically, Nano Plague, you don't want to bring a robot in uh, for that path. Biohazard, ideally, you want someone that's poison and bleed immune, but you can get by with just a bleed immune if you are careful and don't hit into their block. All right, now Ghost can handle Biohazard just fine, but I want you to watch something with Ghost. If you're planning on using Ghost, do one hit combos. The reason that you wanna do one hit combos is because on every hit, you may get a bleed. So if you are phasing, attacking, you get a bleed, you phase right back, that gets converted to a Fury, you don't really take any damage. All right, see how quickly I took down that uh, Thor. But in some fights, you're going to see where I actually do catch some uh, bleed damage. Usually it's because I don't follow my own advice or I messed up with the timing a little bit. Uh, the other reason you want to do a one-hit combo is because they cannot evade when you're using Ghost that first hit. So you see here, he can't evade it. You see how he has the spider sense up and he has one charge, so he should be able to evade but not with Ghost. And you see how I took all that damage? Uh, there's nothing that I can do if I fire my special two off and I get bleed on any one of those hits. So if you don't want to take a lot of bleed damage and you don't want to rely on that RNG, um, and this is of course if you're playing Ghost, then just do one hit combos until they're dead. And you can do the final special two if you want to finish them off, but you do run that risk. All right, but Ghost is an excellent option. Another option for Biohazard would be Omega Red. Omega Red is poison immune, and while he's not bleed immune, his bleed um, debuff does not do any damage. He takes no damage, and if you are running the willpower mastery even one point in it you're going to heal from having that bleed debuff on you not only that but omega red gets that death field aura when he's bleeding so he is a great option for biohazard paths in general so if you don't have ghost you can go on this path with an omega red now another option and again if they are bleed immune you want them to be bleed immune uh, they can also be poison immune but you really want them to be bleed immune because if they're not bleed immune or don't take damage from bleed you're going to have a bad time because you're going to catch that bleed uh, damage uh, so another option would be Luke Cage he does quite well on biohazard just don't hit into their block uh, Corvus also he does not take any damage from bleed so it's the same situation uh, with Corvus as it is with Omega Red so those are some good options as well um, clairvoyant does very well on biohazard she starts out in a mode where she is bleed immune and you can swap so if you're running suicides, you can cycle through, get the poison off of you, cycle all the way back to bleed immunity, and just wreck, okay? Uh, so she's also a good option as well. Uh, but by far, of course, Ghost, Quake, uh, those are going to be MVPs uh, for really throughout this quest. Uh, for the initial clear. Uh, now, of course, I have not done anything more than this initial clear at this point in time. Uh, we're just 
going through this to help you guys out. All right, so now this fight here, I don't like fighting Juggernaut with Ghost. All right, but you see I'm doing the one hit uh, combo. I did fire off that special two. I got lucky, did not get a bleed, but you see I'm getting bleed every once in a while when I hit him. And that's why I'm doing one hit combos. He goes unstoppable, nothing you can do. They've changed him so that you cannot stun him. So I basically just have to play. And he's very free with his specials. So every time he does it, I just have to wait around, do the one hit combo there, do another special two. And we're just trying to get this guy down because the longer the fight goes on, the more likely it is that I'm gonna make a mistake. And you can already see that my health is less than half at this point. Uh, now I'm not a premier ghost player, obviously. Uh, so I can tell you my advice on how to play and that would be those one hit combos. I keep doing the special twos, catching bleed damage. Sometimes I'll do more than a one hit combo and I'll just get unlucky and get a bleed on me. All right, see like right here, I got all that bleed damage. Yes, he was down quickly, but I got bleed and until the, you know, special two was over and until he was down, that bleed damage was ticking away. And I am running suicides, although that does not really matter too much with Ghost, um, but it does help with her damage. All right, so you see here, I'm uh, healing up a little bit. With Ghost, if you play her well, you don't really need to heal up because you really shouldn't be taking block damage or any other type of damage, but I'm playing her less than perfectly, shall we say. Um, all right, so now we're fighting Hulk. And you can see here, I'm doing the one-hit combo. Now, the other reason that you want to do a one-hit combo with Ghost uh, in the beginning, if you're running suicides, is because she's awakened. That's one thing. So she starts off the fight phased. But even if she wasn't awakened, you would want to dash back initially get rid of the bleed and poison if you're running both double edge and liquid courage and convert those to furies and then you want to do one hit one hit because you'll maximize your damage that way all right so down goes hulk very very few hits reminds me of the end of realm of legends that uh is a fun fight with a ghost i used to just run through there just for fun uh, and farming the uh, health potions, but I haven't done that in a while. All right, so my ghost is low, and I'm thinking of bringing in Omega Red, but then as you saw, I rethought it. I had already healed up ghost, and I'm like, uh, do I want to do that? Let's do it. And I was worried about Mysterio, but as you can see, we're playing it just fine. Now you see here, I got bleed on me and I was looking up and I'm like trying to get the bleed off. And I took my eyes off of him. That was what I was afraid of. I was worried about it and I messed up. You know, I went into the fight, not on my A game, already nervous. And I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna let Ghost go out like that. So I got a little tilted after that. And I said, no, we're going to get him down. We're not going to let Ghost get taken out because of my mistakes. All right, so you can see here, sometimes I let him uh, hit or miss a couple of times. That's to build up my power a little bit faster. All right, and you see here, we're just ripping him up this time. All right, and see, I got that bleed again. And it was, uh, or not bleed, but it was distracting me, all right? And again, down. I'm At this point, I'm like, are you kidding me? Are you kidding? I could not believe that that happened, all right? So I went in tilted. And so at this point, I'm just like, no, 
we are not gonna take him out with anyone else but Ghost, okay? And I said, all right, he's only got a little bit left, so there wasn't much, but that really ticked me off. I was not happy about that. All right, now this fight, I was a little bit concerned with. The Mysterio fight, you know, I was a little worried about, rightfully so, apparently. Um, but this guy here, his special two, sometimes I do well with the special two, sometimes I don't. But I figured he should be fairly straightforward. All right, so I'm giving Ghost a rest at this point because I'm tilted. I am, I'm so upset with how that last fight went that I'm not thinking clearly, all right? So we're going at it and I'm like, all right, you know, we should be able to get him down, take a little bit longer. I'm still not used to fighting with uh, Omega Red, all right? Um, I need to um, delay my heavy so I can get an extra spore on there. And remember, we're also dealing with those nodes, like tunnel vision. So you'll see that I sometimes miss, and it's because I did two actions repeated in a row, the same action, and so that messes me up, okay? So here, I'm worried about this special too. He's trying to bait it out. He doesn't want to throw it. And I'm like, okay, you're gonna play like that. See, look at this. And finally, I got it. And I'm like, all right. So we survived that one. We fire off that special two to get that uh, death field active again. And he wants to get us away from him. That's something the AI will do. If they have a special, they will fire it off. When you have something like an R or anything like that, try to eat away at that clock. All right. And there we go. And it's going slowly. Okay. But we're getting it done. Now, again, not used to fighting with uh, Omega Red. I'm still learning. All right, so here I'm trying to let that field stay on him, and he's just firing heavies off. Now the field is off, and he fires his special too. And then I get caught by the end of the bomb. Don't ask me why that happened. I sat here with my mouth hanging open. I was like, what just happened? How did that just happen? I always managed to evade that last part. And this time, I didn't. I said, okay. I said, it's gonna be one of those runs. And I'm not starting over, already revived. So now we're just gonna try to finish him off. The AI will do that, so you have to be careful. Uh, you'll notice that I was phased and the AI starts their special so that it will end with me being unfazed. So you will have to block the last bit of it. And then he went unblockable and just wrecked me. Not fun, not fun at all. I'm at this point beyond words. I'm just like, all right, whatever. We've got, as you see, plenty of revives. Um, we still have the revives at this point. We still have a lot of the revives from the uh, event, that feeling green event. So we're not worried about revives, but I still don't like to lose. So I'm still getting tilted even more. All right, and here we go with the special two, done. And I'm just like, I don't believe this. So now we're gonna face the boss. Okay, and it's an Iceman. This fight is a pretty good fight. Uh, Ghost handles Iceman very well because that cold snap doesn't bother her. She'll phase that right on off. So you can see the nodes that you're going to have to deal with. He's going to be stun immune. I don't care about that with Ghost. Protective shielding can be annoying. Enhanced energy attacks. Um, heal block debuff, that can be annoying. And uh, the Matador. Uh, Matador was challenging, but it's actually very useful. All right, so you don't gain power normally. 
Now, I want you guys to watch how I do this. All right, so you see I'm not gaining any power. All right, so I need to get him to a special and then bait it out. So I'm doing one hit combos. There we go. I've got now a special one, but I want a special two. So I'm gonna push him again to his special uh, one and it'll work either way. And once he gets that special, now I have a special two. Fire it off and do crazy amounts of damage. And that is pretty much the strategy for this fight. Now, if you don't have Ghost, you can do it with anyone that's really good against Iceman. So if you have someone that's um, Cold Snap immune, like Corvus, Corvus does very well against this fight. Um, if you have a really ranked up Sabretooth and you like to fight with him, you can use him as well. Um, I think Colossus should do very well also. Uh, so you have quite a few counters for this guy. It's an Iceman. If you don't have anyone that is immune to the Cold Snap, buff your health up, use some boosts, and go in. Once Cold Snap is done, then it's just a regular old fight. Keep in mind the Matador, and you'll be good. So that's going to do it for Act 6.4.1. Hopefully this helped you guys out in your own run through it. So feel free to click like if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.